Hello Reading Zone Book Club, my name is Karine Getton and I am the author of When Life Gives You Mangoes. When Life Gives You Mangoes is about 12 year old Clara who lives on a tropical island and Clara can't remember anything that happened to her the summer before. Uh, she's completely lost her memory of that uh, time and everybody in the village apart from Clara remembers what happened but they're not telling her. Another thing that's going on for Clara is that she's fallen out with her best friend Gaynor and this is completely traumatic for her. Uh, Gaynor is her one and only friend but Gaynor seems to have moved on, no longer wants to be her friend and this is really upsetting for her. So things are not going very well for Clara until a new girl comes to the island called Rudy who's from England. Rudy is full of life and colour and energy and positivity and she completely turns Clara's life upside down for the better. Um, she becomes uh, Clara's new friend, they go on adventures in a village and on their adventures they discover some family secrets and slowly but surely Clara's memory starts to return and she remembers what happened to her the summer before. Some interesting characters that you should look out for in the book are Rudy, of course, who's from England, who's full of life, energy, doesn't really care what anyone thinks of her, does her own thing, and really brings that new energy into Clara's life that she really needs. Another character is Miss G, who they call Miserable Miss G. Miss G doesn't want any anybody um, on her property and there's a game that the kids play called Pick Leaf which involves um, picking a, a, a designated leaf that someone chooses and then the first one back to the starting point with that leaf wins the game and um, in this instant uh, Clara um, has to get a leaf from Miss G's front yard which is every child's nightmare in this village. Um, another uh, character is Eldrath who's eccentric and is Clara's uncle and Eldrath really plays a key role in Clara's life um, which you will discover as you read more into the story. So I'm going to read you a chapter from When Life Gives You Mangoes. There is a new girl arriving in Sycamore. Her hair is in two Afro buns with big white bows and she's wearing cat eye sunglasses like a celebrity. That's according to Gaynor. I haven't seen her yet, but Gaynor says she saw her get off the city bus by the roundabout with a woman that looked like her mother and they are heading up the hill. The entire village is buzzing this is the most excitement we have ever had, and no one wants to miss seeing it for themselves. Within minutes, all the kids are gathered at the edge of the road, waiting for the new girl. Everyone is speculating on why she's here and what might be wrong with her. New people don't come to Sycamore, not since the witch doctor episode. The last time someone new came here, it was two tourists with video cameras. They were driving to the Bob Marley Museum and got lost but we suspect they were some of the diehard fans who were desperate to meet Alderath, my uncle, the man who sees ghosts. It's a story that brought shame and fear on the community. Pastor Brown was the most vocal. He said, any man who claims to see ghosts is not a godly man, that my uncle was inviting evil into our community. So Alderath was given a new name, the witch doctor. Tourists thought differently. My uncle was a tourist attraction. They wanted to know if he could see their mother, their father, their best friend who had passed. Uncle Alderath wasn't easy to find. His house was way up on the hill and he rarely left it. Pastor Brown told us to never give anyone directions. When they couldn't find him, they gave us sweets as a thank you for helping them get on the right road. Gaynor saw this as an insult and threw hers in the bush. Do they think I've never seen sweets? She said in a complete disgust. My brother sends me American sweets every month. 
The new girl would be the second stranger to ever venture up Sycamore Hill in the last year, and no one can stop talking about it. If this is true, and a girl really is coming here, then it could change our entire summer. I hope you enjoyed that extract from When Life Gives You Mangoes, and it's available in all bookstores from now. Thank you for having me.